Hello there, guys, and of course, welcome yourselves back in for yet again another one with us, the Review Bros. You're joined by just myself today, it's Aaron, and of course, really good to have you joined along for, of course, surprise, surprise, a pre workout review coming hot off the press. It's sent kindly across by the guys at Black Flag. It's rattle pre workout. So I'm getting pirates and snakes vibes. Bit random, but we'll take it on board anyway, quite literally on the ship, right? Now, the unique thing, and something that was an extra nice touch, was that when the packaging turned up, they double wrapped it. So this was inside, obviously, the inner one, and on the outer one, they had these metal like, they were almost like coins that were rattling away in the packaging. So I, I only want to know what the postman thought when he delivered this one. Now, does it have the power of a King Cobra? We're going to go through, of course, the usuals today of this one. It's the price, the label, the taste, and the effects. Probably not in that order, but we're going to do it anyway. So, there it is. What's it going to do? Let's find out. Okay, so we're into the first segment of these reviews. It's the taste and the mixability, which a lot of people argue is the least important, and we'd probably agree, but there is some importance when there's so much choice on the market. And I've looked on the website, I can see that it comes in two flavours. It comes in red rum punch, which sounds nice to me, but the one we've got is blackberry lemonade, as shown in the bottom there. Now, it is actually two scoops for 22.2 grams. So it is quite a big serving size, I've got to say, for what, looking on the label, appears to be a stim heavy pre. Obviously that would be me, me jumping right off the plank into the deep end, wouldn't it? Now, let's see how this one does in my mega shake up. Not too sure why I got this one, but hey. Let's see. Mixability, difficult to see, but it does look good, I've got to say. Now, the flavour, let's find out. Oh, let's give it some blackberry lemonade going down the hatch. It's nice, it is nice, definitely lemonade. I'm not too sure about the blackberry, but it's definitely got that lemonade fruit taste, so it is nice. I've obviously used it before. You do get a strange sort of bitterness a good 30 seconds to a minute after drinking the product. Once you've walked away from your pre-workout station, you do notice a bit of bitterness there. But I've got to say, for what's in the label, they've done a really good job. What would I give it out of 10, including that bitterness bit there? I'm going to play it very safe. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's a good start. Let's move into the pricing point. That, of course, moves us into the pricing of this product. And you know our pricing segments have no friends and they have no enemies. It's a black and white score list to determine how expensive pre-workout servings are compared perhaps to any pre-workout on the market where a 5 out of 10 is average. Now, in this instance, you'll head on over, of course, to the official Black Flag website. Link in the description below. If we get our hands on a discount code, of course, we'll put that in the description below and we will pin it to the top of the comments list. So if you're interested in this, it's always worth checking down below first. Now, it is an expensive product. There is no sugar coat in it without a discount code. 59.99 US dollars for a tub. It's a 40, 20 serving container. You know the drill. We have to stay consistent with these reviews and therefore we go always by the maximum serving size available to us. And I do think more people than not will always go full send when it concerns pre-workouts. Therefore, it comes in, of course, at $3 per go. Now, on our consistent pricing scale, as I mentioned, a 5 out of 10 is what we consider to be an average pre-workout for this day and age. This, unfortunately, without that discount code, slips into a 1 out of 10. So it is, at the moment, a lot more expensive than your average product. It does have a stacked formula. 
I'll leave it at that for now. Let's get into the label of this one. We now move into the label of this product. It's Rattle by Black Flag, and it is a stacked formulation. So I'm gonna try and run through it as quickly as I can. I'm only gonna give really the primary functions of each ingredient. There might be secondary and even more good benefits from some of these. Like I said, 22.2 gram scoop. We start off with L-citrulline, nine grams, really good dosage. Pumps, nitro oxide production, blood flow, really good start. Beta alanine, 3.5 grams, again, really good dosage. Beta tingle, itchy feels as the pre kicks in, and endurance down the line. L tyrosine, 2.5 grams, again, a good dosage. Amino acid responsible for cognition, concentration, and mood elevation. Agmatine sulfate, a gram, a respectable dose there. More nitro oxide production, more pumps. We've got taurine, gram. Energy production, hydration, some pump, some nootropic action, a bit of everything really. We've got alpha GPC, 600 milligrams, again a good dosage. Choline, focus concentration, keeping you in the zone. Lion's mane mushroom, 500 milligrams, a hard one to flavour, but I think they've done a good job there. Now that's in there as a nootropic, again more focus concentration vibes. Canaries, 100 milligrams for anti-stress, anti-anxiety properties, helping you keep in a nice mood as such. Um, we have caffeine anhydrous, 375 milligrams, so quite a high dosage here, energy and stimulation. n left dimethylamine citrate, 400 milligrams, that's a reagerensis, that's a really good dosage. Concentration, mood elevation, some euphoria type feels perhaps even. Caffeine citrate, 100 milligrams, not too sure what the yield will be on that, but that's a fast acting version of caffeine, instant source of energy. Infinergy decaffeine malate, 100 milligrams, high caffeine dosage. I haven't even looked to see how much, but it's well over 400, coming on 500 here. Now, that's in there as a slower digesting form of caffeine energy. So therefore, towards your end of your session, hopefully that'll keep you ticking on through. We've got gamma beta butyrate up next, GBB, 25 milligrams, fat burning, energy production, fat metabolization as such. We have black pepper extract, 10 milligrams, good dosage, absorption of the product. Really important when you've got a stack formula, you need to get it digested quickly in that 30 minute window. Yahimbine HCL and Yahim, uh, and Alpha Yahimbine at 2.5 and 2. Fat burning, adrenaline precursors, high energy, sweats, fat burning. Interesting to see how they all come together. And we wrap off Hooperzine A, learning chemical, dub, brain, wake up, you know, all the rest of it. Going to all tie in nicely with those other focus ingredients there. So no holes, stacked, stim heavy, pump heavy, focus heavy. It's ticking boxes from the paperwork. Let's get into the real world effects of it. And that moves us into Rattle by the guys at Black Flag. It's, I think it's a new product. It's just been sent across to us. I see other reviewers talking about it as well. Now, I'm gonna give my honest opinion on this one. And we start at the beginning of the journey. Beta Alanine. You feel it, your face is flushing, tingling, urgency, quick sense of energy as well. It's really rapid. 20 minutes, you're raring to go. They warned me about it in the DMs on Instagram. They always warn me. Everyone warns me about how potent their pre-workout is. Well, no, there is a definite strong sense of urgency. Your alpha your himbine comes in too, doesn't it? Of course it does. So a sense of fat burning, metabolization, highness, euphoria, it all starts coming in. You just want to get down the gym and you've got to get down there quick. Any more than 35 minutes and it probably starts to take a negative effect if you haven't already started training. Now you get training, high heart rate. There is some breathing struggles here. It's a high stimulant pre-workout. Now I did make the mistake, I'll be honest. I used it today on legs. Legs already been a taxing, high heart rate, hard endurance body part day. This kind of works against you on those big days like that because you're struggling for breathing, you're feeling a bit all over the place. It's a really strong one. However, used it the other day on chest and triceps, really good. That's where it's sweet. Back and biceps would be good. Arms, shoulders, any other body part, pretty much other than legs, simply because 
the, the, you can handle the energy a bit better without really exhausting yourself crazy anyway. Now, pumps, they were probably the weakest thing for me, but they were still solid. I think there's so much energy going on that actually you're just not focused on the muscle as such. Mind to muscle connection, as we know, is very important. That being said, Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump. The focus was very good on this, but a focus to get this pre-workout to work, to get cracking through your training, because you want to do things quickly. That urgency definitely stays with you throughout training. So energy is top level, focus is top level, and pumps are falling just behind. I would have to say no holes. Like I say, negatives, perhaps the breathing, excessive heart rate, but nothing else. No nausea, sickness. The alpha yahimbine actually was almost too much, but it also wasn't too much. It's on that upper step for us at Review Bros because it's a high adrenaline and that's what's going on. The adrenaline is kicking in and it stays kicked in. But I didn't get cold sweats and jitters and weakness and shakes. I didn't get any of that. So that's obviously a very much a positive. It's a stim junky pre-workout. We're talking 500 caffeine here, pretty much. 400 uh, area. And obviously the yo-yo blend at the bottom there is always going to amplify any pre-workout that it's in. So it's a strong, strong pre-workout. I'd only use it two to three times a week myself personally. It doesn't come with a DMHA euphoria. It's not that typical, or quite obviously, it's not in here, but the, the area durensis, it isn't that level. It's not, it's not high in this euphoria. It's high energy urgency. That's what it is. It's an aggressive pre-workout. It will make you rattle in the gym. I did enjoy it. Like I say, it's a strong one and a great effort from Black Flag. Not much more can be said, guys. Check it on out if that sounds right for you and appreciate you watching. Of course, as always, stay stimmed and Rattle will do that.